hello good morning guys today we're going to see how to configure OSPF routing okay my name is Nawa I've been looking for college Asia tech today we're going to look what is OSPF routing okay OSPF what is called OSPF it's a shortest for open shortest part first is an interior gateway routing protocol is developed by the IP network based on the shortest part first link state algorithm what mean by link state algorithm okay router use the link state algorithm to send a routing information to all the nodes in the internet work by calculating the shortest part to each node based on the topography of the internet construct by each node each router send the portion of the routing table what means by the uh, send the portion of the routing table it will keep the track of the router to particular network destination let's say we have two type of router the router will keep the track of the router particular network destination of the second router they describe the state of its own link and also send the complete routing structure topography in other words the advantage of the shortest part first algorithm is they that they result in a smaller more frequent update everywhere okay the converts quickly thus preventing such a problem as a uh, routing loops count to infinity when a router continuously increment the whole count particular network this make stable for network okay in other words how i can describe uh, ospf i can describe ospf as a google map okay let's say you take a google map what we will you, let's say you want to go to one particular destination Okay, they are having two way, uh, road A and road B. The op I mean the Google map will show the uh, shortest part that don't have a high traffic. Example, in Google map, I say uh, the shortest part is uh, using a uh, road B, but the particular road B is uh, having a high traffic. I mean jam. So the Google map will show you the alternative way. They are having a less traffic to. S to reach the destination that's exact because exactly concept what the OSP going to implement over here okay what is you can see here OSPF same area today we're going to configure OSPF same area how to configure OSPF same area to configure OSPF same area we need to know some kind of uh, the command that we need to use okay compared to our previous video we're using a read network I mean a rip uh, routing protocol when doing a rip routing protocol we just create a router a rip and put then following by the network but when see the ospf we're going to use a process id and also wildcard and also going to differentiate it according to the area is it area zero area one or area two is depend on the router environment now i'm going to teach you how to configure ospf same area Okay, the command that we need to will that we need to know in OSPF same area is router OSPF space by process ID. The process ID is just a value to differentiate how in the router one and the router two or router three. Just put a number to differentiate the process ID. The second is a network address. Okay, when uh, look at here, we're going to put key in the network. That's example 10.0.0.0, then following by the address. Then following, I uh, mean, uh, sorry, it's a network address. I mean, 10.0.0.0. Uh, then following by the wildcard mask. Wildcard mask is the mask. We're going to write under wildcard mask. And following by the area. Then area got ID. Which area? Is it area 0 or area 1? This is our concept. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to configure. First of all, I want to inform you now I'm using latest packet tracer. You can see I'm using version 6.0. Okay, for those who are still using uh, packet tracer 5.3, kindly upgrade. Now I'm going to pull out one router over here. I think I can pull out um, 1841. I'm going to pull out two router. First of all, sorry, I'm going to going to put the interface over here to see the interface switch on it's on I'm going to rename router 2 okay now okay, having two router here I'm going to pull out one switch 
One switch. And do lot, pull out one PC. One PC. Now I'm going to make a connection. Going to fast internet zero one. I'm going to put fast. 24 okay 24 FA01 same goes here FA01 going to 24 I'm going to do the same things over here Google slash one FA0 finish now I'm going to pull out the CD interface Serial 0 slash 0 without going to serial 0 slash 0. Okay, this is my side A, side B. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to just giving the IP address over here 10.0.0.1. Copy, I'm going to provide the second IP address here. Dot 2. Copy, I'm going to put here class C 192.168. 2.150 p 192.168.1.150 now I'm going to give the IP address for this particular PC desktop IP address this one is uh, my gateway this my IP address for the PC my gateway address cancel finish similars go to here now it's a 2 ok finish now first of all I'm going to configure this particular interface just have a look we are the serial interface having a clock so this particular router I need to set bandwidth and a clock rate Okay, let's start. Going to put here. Easy for me to look out. Okay, I'm going to click no. Oh my god, no. Enable. Config T. I'm going to rename the router. Host name, I'm going to click R1. Now I'm going to config interface. Fast internet. 0 slash 0. Enter IP. At 192.168.1.150 scrolling by the subnet mask 255 255.255.0 enter no shot okay now I already bring up this particular line I'm going to configure my serial interface the serial interface is 0 slash 0 slash 0 with the IP address 10.0.0.1 okay awesome I'm going to exit config T already under config terminal. I'm going to configure interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Enter IP add 10.0.0.0.1255.255.25. Sorry, it's a class A. 0 .0 .0 Enter. I'm going to click bandwidth 64 clock. Clock rate 64,000. No shot. Okay, see my state is still down because my configuration for the second router is still not been done here. Once I configure, automatically the line will up. Now I will cancel this. I'm going to open the second terminal for my router. I'm going to check it's a 5A00192.168.2.150 and see the interface as. Serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay, now I'm going to configure it. Config T. Oh, sorry. Sorry, need to enable it. Config T interface. So I need to rename it. R2. Now I'm going to interface. Serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP add. 10.0.0.2 holding by the mask 255.0.0.0 enter no shot you see already stated 
you have changed the app that means the link was activated you can see it's already activated now I'm going to configure my fast internet we exit interface fast internet zero slice sorry zero slice zero ip at 192.168.2.150 dwelling by the mass 255.255.255.0 enter no shut exit finish now how are we to make sure I'm going to make sure whether the line was up or not I'm going to ping from this particular PC to my default gateway you can see it's successful can ping how about my router to router is it can ping okay cool it can ping how about my second things in progress okay I will try again I think the line was just half yes you see it's successful so my interface configuration was exactly correct now just have a test from this particular route PC to this particular PC you can see it's failed because we never configure any routing protocol yet now I'm going to configure routing protocol this uh, routing protocol I'm going to rename it OSPF same area okay I'm going to click it in the area 0 sorry area 0 come have a look how to configure area 0 now we're having two network network 10 and network 192.168.1.0 enter exit router OSPF now going to click what is this it's a process ID you can see I can create the process ID 1 until 65535 I'm going to click in process ID 1 okay enter I'm going to click a network 10.0.0.0 following by the wildcard mask wildcard mask is class A is 0.255.255.255 following by the area I'm going to key in area 0 as what I mentioned to you earlier now I'm going to click the second network 192.168.0 sorry dot one dot zero following by the mask 0.255.255 is a class C class C so the mask will be wildcard mask will be 0.0.0.255 area 0 finish exit now what I'm going to do exit I'm going to show IP root uh -huh. you can see even I do configure my OSP is still not affected here because I never configure my second uh, router as an OSPF okay come we're going to configure the second router we're going to do the similar things over here exit what I'm going to do is a router OSPF. I'm going to click it. what type of ID. I'm going to click OSPF ID is 2 network. Okay, why is, just now I put 1 and 2. Now we put 2. Why? I just want to differentiate the router only. Network following by the 10.0.0.0. Then mask is a 0.255.255.255. Following by the area zero because area will be remaining same i'm going to do the same thing here network 192.168.2.0 following by the mass oh see wrong i think it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong 192.168.2.0.255.255 dot sorry dot zero dot zero dot two five five following by the area zero enter exit exit I'm going to see show IP root uh -huh. you can see my OSPF already been configured you can see my network on the opposite side are one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot zero is going to travel the uh, entrance of 10.0.0.0.1 at serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 exactly going to here I'm going to do the same thing show IP road you can see 
192.168.2.0 is going to travel 10.0.0.2 serial interface is 0 slash 0 slash 0 now how we are going to test a ping across the router Dun -dun. it's successful these are the method I mean a small configuration how to set up a OSP for the same area okay Okay guys, this is uh, end of the OSPF configuration for the same area. Okay, for more detail about the OSPF configuration or you willing to attend the class, you can kindly join us at uh, our CAT Education College. We are going to provide all the complete CCNA networking basic. We are also going to provide CCNP, Microsoft Level 1 and Microsoft Level 2 and Linux. And also we are going to provide IPIL and Oracle and extra other subject too. Okay, kindly contact us. This is my contact number, this is my email for more information kindly email to us. Thank you very much guys for looking this video. Thank you.